Hello, what is up? My name is Gold Glove, and you guys are checking out some Gears of War 3 beta gameplay. This was a game of team deathmatch on trenches, and I, I almost said TDM. That's what, that, never mind. Anyway, um, so yes, I'm playing with clearly Christ, which is obviously Jesus. Looks like Fwiz. Some other people maybe earned my respect. Uh, so we're playing with X Pups, Holy Hand Grenade, All Sham No Wow, and I didn't even see how I got one of those right. Great, I'm an idiot. And Fisticuffs is on the other team. You guys will notice that. Um, so this was pretty much when the beta first came out. You guys can see that I'm a very low level in this video. Um, but we did take it upon ourselves to kind of mess with Fist a little bit, you know, just to show him a little bit of uh, YouTube love. Because, you know, we were pretty much all of us on this team are YouTubers. And we knew who Fist was. And we're like, all right, we got to mess with Fist a little bit. So we do. Um, but... Uh, this is a pretty good game that'll be played. Uh, a lot of you guys have been wanting some more Gears of War gameplay from me, so you guys can kind of check out, um, you know, just kind of some of the gameplay. And like I said, this is kind of an early stage when I got the uh, when I got the beta. So you'll notice that my hammer burst shot isn't very good. Um, I usually am a lot better, uh, m meaning that my trigger finger is a lot quicker usually. And uh, I was just getting used to the kind of the mechanics of the game and. How it worked and look at that i'm still trying to two piece let me tell you guys something oh that was this let me tell you something two piecing in this game is useless don't do it um if you time your shot correctly if you can get inside to the body you're going to get a one shot the hit detection on this game is far superior than any gears of war game to date so don't oh god did i uh, i thought i was going to kill myself with that mortar but like i said don't two piece in this game it's useless especially because Half the time it doesn't work. You'll see that I just got two pieced. And I've noticed that in my footage from like the first week of the game, one of the first couple days of the game, there was a lot of people who tried to two piece. But now when you go to play Gears of War 3, no one two pieces. You just don't do it because it's it's probably the most useless tactic in terms of a of shotgun battling in this game. And uh, I tried to help out my team right there. I think he ends up getting killed. Anyway, ooh, I got it down. What do you know? Ooh, like a piece of candy. For those of you who are in Amnesia, you know that you know that, uh, that joke. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've been I haven't really been playing I haven't really been playing video games uh, the past couple of uh, week well probably about the last week or so. I just I don't know I've been doing other stuff and uh, right here I think Wargasm quits. One of these guys quits I think eventually, and uh, and then they all start quitting out and I think by the end of it, Fisticuffs is the only one left. But um, you're going to notice a uh, host migration happen, which means that dedicated servers were not on at this time, but I am not host, just to let you guys know. Um, the host does quit out, and there's a host migration, and then because of that, um, there's a glitch, which hopefully, I'm sure Epic will fix. Um, when, a, when the host migrates, the round restarts, but the kills and the deaths stay the same. So you're going to notice that I have a really good round, and then the game is going to pretty much reset, or the round is going to reset completely, and that is why I'm going to end with so many kills in this team deathmatch. But regardless, I'll take it, you know, I don't I don't care how I go about getting a certain amount of kills, uh, you know, <laughs> regardless, that right there, I killed Wargasm, and he rage quit, which it happens, you know, okay, I understand. Um, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe your house was on fire. You know, maybe someone had just driven a big 18-wheeler into your house and you were about to die. You know, I don't know. Maybe a cat walked across your cord and disconnected it. You know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But he rage quit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he rage quit. He did. Yeah. So he was mad. You know, it happens. You, you get mad, you know, when... Your team isn't necessarily so good, and you're just getting destroyed, and you're just like, fuck this, I'm done with this, and you just leave. So, I was 9-1 and one at this point, and I noticed, wow, they, we don't have a, you know, it's it's going to restart. 15-15, the game completely 100% restarts. So, from here, it's like we start. I started with, I got a handicap of 9 kills. I was like, alright, well, let's let's do some work, let's get some more kills, and let's uh, start over. So, that's exactly what we did. And um, so, you know, we just put in work, and it, this game is based completely on teamwork. You know, in Gears 1, I played Gears 1 a lot, and probably 85% of the time that I played Gears of War 1, I played it solo. I didn't play it with a teammate, I didn't play it with a team, 
I played it just by myself, you know, I joined random canals and I would just pick up a sniper and <laughs> and do, you know, do my business. That's pretty much what I did in, in the Gears 1 days. But with this game, you you just can't. It's it's all about team it's all about team shooting. It's it's just all about uh, the teamwork and the strategy. So when you oh god, just get destroyed by Jesus. Jesus just destroyed you. He is the man. And Vic Love, you are dead. Say hello to my hammer bust. But once you, and once you get down the hammer burst, it is by far the best weapon in this game. Not only because if you have a quick trigger finger, it can just do damage from up close, but from far away, it is by far the best weapon in the game. Uh, unless you're using like a one shot, you know. I, I'm I'm talking about strictly starting weapons. Um, the retro lancer obviously is the best weapon when it comes to close encounters because it's it's fucking just crazy. The lan the the regular lancer lancer the lancer is just complete bullshit. Don't use it. Don't. Um, unless you like chainsawing people, but um, it has like no recoil, but it's just so weak. It takes forever to down people. So my my suggestion is getting used to the recoil of the retro lancer and the hammer burst, and getting those two down. Those are going to be your best uh, assault rifles. Don't worry about the regular lancer. Um, and when it comes to shotguns, you know, you guys, you gotta stop complaining. You gotta stop complaining about the sawed off versus the Nasher. Now, as you guys can see in this video, I'm using the Nasher and the, and the Hammer Burst, and that is my um, normal setup. That's what I use normally. But you guys complained a lot when I posted a video of me using the Sawed Off, and, you know, it's it's not a big deal, and, and I'm going to prove it to you guys. Um, after this video, I want you guys to go down below in the description, and there's going to be a link to a video that someone did in the Gears community. He's actually one of my buddies, and he did a fantastic video comparing the sawed off shotgun with the Nasher even uses some of my gameplay to kind of you know use as a comparison but you guys can go check that out it is a fantastic video it makes great points and for those of you who have been complaining about the sawed off go watch this video and tell me that you you that you can can continue complaining about it because it's honestly frustrating when you know I'll admit the first the first week or two of the game or the first week and a half I complained a lot about the sawed off. I said, this is fucking stupid. This needs to be taken out of the game. I cannot stand it. Get this shit out of my game. I hate this. But then I, I realized something. You can't just have the same thing as Gears of War 1. You, you've got to change it up. It can't be what Gears of War 1 was. Or why would they make a new game? Okay, this game is played great. The Every, every gun has its purpose. The only gun that I would say doesn't have a purpose is the damn regular Lancer. I think that thing's useless, okay? But the sawed off is fantastic. It's you know it's it's great for one v one situations. And people complain about that. Well, I never win a one v one against a, a a sawed off. Well, that's kind of the point. Your the sawed off is supposed to be able to take out the Nasher shotgun. That is the whole point of it. But the downside of having a sawed off shotgun is you have no way to. I think I'm host at this point. Um, you have no way of taking out multiple enemies unless you're lucky enough to get a collateral but if it's a 4v1 situation or a 3v1 situation and you you know they're pushing you you're not gonna win the battle you're not going to I'm sorry unless you're fucking Houdini even then I highly doubt Houdini himself could do it so the people who complain about about that are just I understand that it's a different weapon you guys aren't used to it you're used to the Nasher and the, and the, and the Lancer setups you're used to not having a very diverse selection when it comes to these other weapons, but you've got to get used to it. That's just how it is. And a lot of people have been leaving comments like, "Well, Epic knows that they made a mistake and they're they're removing it or they're they're whatever they're doing. They're tweaking it." No, no, they're not. And trust me, I know this. I I have been reading up on it. I've been I read the Epic forums pretty much every night. I I I follow uh, Cliffy B on Twitter. And he just he just makes fun of the people who complain about the sawed off because it's true. I did. I'm, I'm starting to understand that it has its purpose. But in a certain situation, I would much rather have a uh, a Nasher over. Oh, here I think this is when I get like a, a hammer burst kill feed or something. I don't know. But um, <laughs> yeah, hammer burst kill feed. Uh, but I would much rather have a Nasher in a situation where I'm against multiple enemies. But when it's a 1v1 shotgun battle, I'll take that sawed off any day, you know? Obviously, you're going to win. 
you've got to pick your battles correctly. If you're going up against a team of sawed-off guys and they're using retro lancers, then use a hammer burst or use a retro lancer yourself and try to keep your distance a little bit because if you can keep a certain distance, these sawed-off guys cannot touch you. And if you have an entire team talking together, then you're going to be fine. So don't even worry about it. I know this game kind of finished out with some bots, but regardless, it was a, it was a good scoring game. And you guys can kind of see a few things and all that stuff. So, but I wanted to uh, show it to you guys regardless. You can see you can see some wall bouncing. And uh, if I had a, if I had a sawed off, look at that. He had a he had a sawed off. That that bot had a sawed off, and I still outshot him with the Nasher. And regardless if it's a bot, he still shot me with it. So it's not like you know it's not OP guys. Anyways, like I said, go watch this video. You will understand. And if you keep if you keep complaining about the sawed off then you need to play a different game because it's not going to change guys as much as you guys want it to um, it's not going to the sawed off is going to be there so anyways i have been gold glove and i finished this game 29 in two with 21 downs and a 2-0 tdm victory on trenches but anyways thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you guys later take it easy